The problem is you have to remove this very tight drive shaft nut on the newer models that have this on the differential end. Inserting a screwdriver into the center of the drive shaft like this and or a pry bar can be very damaging to the drive shaft and the center support bearing, not to mention the person holding on to the screwdriver can very easily get the fingers pinched against the floorboard of the car. So the solution is the ATA drive shaft holder. This holder is designed with sliding mounts so it fits a wide range of cars from old to new. It slides onto the center section of the drive shaft like this and bolts directly to the chassis that prevents the drive shaft from spinning. An additional very good thing is it prevents any side load on the center support bearing that you can easily damage with this method because the rubber gets hard over time from the heat under the car and if it gets side loaded it can crack and permanently damage the center support bearing. First you remove the factory center support bearing bolts like that. Then you remove the two bolts that are longer than stock that are stored in the tool right here. Insert it over the drive shaft flange and push it up. Now slide the bracket into position and install left and right side bolt. Now tighten the two bolts to the chassis and then the flange bolts like this. It also prevents even worse methods such as holding on to the drive shaft with channel locks which should never be done. It can damage the drive shaft tube that can then lead to failures while operating the car. The drive shaft holder comes with the bolts that you use to secure it to the chassis. The bolts are stored right here in the mount so you don't lose them. To get your drive shaft holder or for more information, please go to atatools.com. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe.